So we're starting a new cooking series in where we explore the different apps and snacks in Latin cuisine. Today's app and snack, taquitos. Come on, let's get started. You're about to have a little taste of what you're missing. But if you cannot stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Full of flavor, flavorful, save your tools. Te vamos a enseñar una receta del baúl. Slice, dice, chop, nice spice, hot or mild. We got it, you just named the style. One in a meal, culinary skills, prestigioso, todo queda sabroso. So what exactly is a taquito? Basically, it's a rolled up taco. It consists of a rolled up tortilla that contains a filling like beef or chicken, but today we're using shredded pork. I marinated about two pounds of pork loin overnight in a chipotle mojo marinade. I'm adding some chopped onion and celery and a half a bulb of garlic to the bottom of an oven proof dish. This will keep the pork from touching the bottom of the pan while also adding flavor. Place a lid or cover with aluminum foil and bake at 350 degrees for about two and a half hours. Meanwhile, let's make a charred tomato salsa to go with our taquitos. Cut in half one large tomato, one red onion, and three tomatillos. We're also using a half garlic bulb and two guajillo chilies. Drizzle a tablespoon of olive oil over the vegetables and throw them on a hot grill or pan, cut side down. Cook until the vegetables are nice and charred. Add the vegetables to a blender. I rehydrated the guajillo chilies and hot chicken stock for about five minutes until pliable. Add them to the blender. Next, roll and press a lime to soften and release its juices. Cut in half and squeeze the juice into the blender. Add a teaspoon of kosher salt for now. and a half teaspoon of black pepper. We're also adding one teaspoon each ground cumin and coriander. Lastly, add one tablespoon of honey. This helps to balance out the acid and tartness from the tomatoes and tomatillos. Pulse for a few seconds. Then blend on high until mixture is smooth. Pour into a bowl. Season if necessary, and set aside for later. Now let's make some fresh guacamole. Making homemade guacamole is so easy and much better tasting. To cut an avocado, just take a sharp knife and cut it in half lengthwise. Careful with your fingers. Then twist and voila! To remove the pit, simply take the heel of your knife, tap the pit, twist, and it comes right out. Do the same with the rest of the avocados. Now take a spoon and scoop out the flesh and place it in a bowl. I have here four small Haas avocados, which is about two cups. Roll a lime to release the juice. and squeeze half of that lime into the bowl. Use a whole lime if doubling this recipe. Season to taste with salt and pepper. Now let's add some crushed garlic. Peel two cloves of garlic. Slice.
Then mince by running your knife across the garlic in a back and forth motion. Now take a pinch of salt and add it to the garlic. The salt will act as a grinding agent to crush the garlic. With the side of your knife, press the garlic towards you until the garlic magically disappears. Where did it go? Relax, it's right here guys. See? Add it to the bowl. You can use a fork or a potato smasher to break down the avocado until it's chunky or smooth, whatever your preference. Now we're going to add some minced red onion. Place the onions in the bowl. Add half a teaspoon each ground cumin and coriander. Stir to combine all the ingredients. As always, season to taste. Just right. Spoon into a smaller container. I saved an avocado pit and I'm adding it on top of the guacamole. This will keep it from oxidizing. Cover and set aside. After two and a half hours, the pork is done. With a fork, begin shredding the pork into thin shreds. Now let's make taquitos. I have some store-bought corn tortillas that I flash in a hot pan for 10 seconds on each side. This makes them soft and pliable for rolling. Place about a tablespoon of the shredded pork onto each tortilla. I'm adding some shredded Monterey Jack cheese, but this is optional. Roll from one end to another to enclose the filling. Repeat the process with the remaining tortillas. In a pan filled with canola oil set over medium-high heat, carefully place the taquitos in the oil seam side down. Cook until brown and crispy. Place on paper towels to drain. To serve, place three taquitos on a plate. Spoon the charred tomato salsa over the top. Add some shredded lettuce some diced tomatoes, then drizzle with some Mexican crema and a sprinkling of cotija cheese. Finally, spoon a dollop of that homemade guacamole. Now to get it approved. Mm. And there you have it, pork taquitos. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button and click subscribe to stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.